Yes. Sorry. Do not you don't want to talk? So jump don't. shot me. Okay. Don't. You don't want to talk? I don't. So why are you here today, though? I think it's a freedom country, so I okay. can be here. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yesterday I uploaded a video of some terrifying responses I received from Chinese mainlanders here in Melbourne. Now one of the clips that I did include was of a Chinese man interrupting my interview with a group of young Chinese uni students. Nation. Do they ask that? Yeah. Just, no, no, no. Only one China. Okay, but are they asking for... As you could see, the group were more than happy and willing to have their say until this guy who spotted them from the side stepped in and instructed them to stop. At the time, I didn't think too much of it. I just thought it was a Chinese bloke who had just seen some of my work and wanted to avoid the embarrassment for this group. I guess that's just my narcissism making it all about me. Suddenly an older Chinese man walked up to him, a little bit older, who obviously had seen some of my great work. But shortly after uploading this clip, my inboxes were inundated with Hong Kongers, Taiwanese, and even mainlanders, all telling me the same thing. They were all saying that he's not just some random guy. All these people were messaging me to tell me that, he, that they believe that this man is a CCP operative, a Chinese spy in Australia. So I thought about it, and I realized that it's not actually a conspiracy theory. It's the most logical explanation for what happened. What's the alternative? Some random middle-aged Chinese bloke just stumbled across a political protest and took it upon himself to mediate the dialogue between Chinese nationals and the media. That's less plausible than the most likely explanation. Chinese authorities here monitor political activity where China is involved and they make sure that they have some presence and that their presence will do what they can to control information because that's what China does best, control. Should we be giving China the benefit of the doubt? I think not. They're the worst country on earth. They control how many kids you have, what you can say, your religion, your politics, your vocation, your wealth. They control everything. It makes absolute sense that somebody from a regime like that would mediate conversations at a protest. So let's find out exactly who he is. Share this video far and wide. Let's confirm the likely truth and then let's get this spy deported for our sake and the sake of every Hong Konger, Taiwanese, and especially every mainlander who choose to join Hong Kong protests in Australia. If you have any info on who this man is, please email me at avi at tr.news. Thank you guys. If you support the work we do here at TR News, if you want to ensure that we can continue to bring you the stories that mainstream media refuses to tell, please consider supporting us financially at tr.news forward slash support because we don't have the funding of China. We have you.